someone turn off that huge bright, we turn off the lights. This is one light that's over my head. We are going to the beach today. I'm trying to wake up because I was up really late finishing packing and then with fussy babies. Can you please not touch the lights? Oh, that's fine. We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. I know. energy for good things so here's what I need y'all to do if you want to wild royal shh. if you want to bring your bike go put it by my car okay. so go do that and then all that listen listen all the beach stuff that I have in a pile in the garage put that by my car too thank you we're just having our coffee this morning me and royal he has his bottle I have my coffee are you all done? You ready to go to the beach? You can even say it. Beach. We've been looking at videos of the beach, haven't we? No, no. All right. You want to get ready to go? Just running out here to water the garden. It hasn't really rained in a couple of weeks. <laughs> but there are four or five days we're supposed to get rain this week. So, I, But I do have someone actually coming to water the garden because I have all these baby plants that I just planted and all these seeds that are germinating and I don't want them to all die while I'm gone. So I have someone coming a couple of days this week to water for me. She's a gardener so she knows the drill. But I wanted to show you something. Look, the carrots are already germinating. I've never had carrots germinate that quickly. I feel like that was a little gift from God because I was so worried about my carrots. See, I don't know if you guys can see them all right there. I was so worried about these carrots uh, drying out while I was gone. I really didn't expect them to germinate after just a couple days. So I'm really pleased with that. And then all of the greens are coming in. <laughs> you always tell when kids help. We have lettuces, greens, beets, radishes, and this bed we've got our carrots in this bed we've got some collards here with all of these greens we've got cabbage broccoli peas and then we got turnips up here at the top I put in turnips and some more chard and kale and then a new plant I've never grown before called like red orach orac I don't know how to say it basically the whole fall garden is newly planted and we're going out of town. <laughs> Not the best timing, but I think I watered it enough that it's gonna be okay and then it's gonna rain this week. And I have someone coming to water. I think I covered all my bases there. I'm worried about my little babies. <laughs> ponytail, do you like your ponytail? <laughs> you mean when I jumped that way? Lulu, hold on. Oh, you want it off? Okay, okay, off. Okay. Well, there we go, now I have a mohawk. <laughs> I was running and then did you see me? I went, Oh, did you scrape your toe? No, I didn't. My whole underscore. Oh, I'm sorry. Packing the cooler, we got our bacon. We're gonna bring homegrown corn on the cob because we're gonna hopefully catch some crabs and make like a crab pot. And I have cantaloupes and great north melons here. Homegrown. We're bringing a bunch of cucumbers. These will be. No, just the melons. These will be so good after a long day on the hot beach. We're out of homegrown carrots, so I have some carrots in the fridge, some homegrown peppers, apples. We have a few sausage links left. They're the spicy ones, so we'll make that with our crab pot. I have a little pack of breakfast sausage left. Too much to show you, but a giant bag full of meat. one freezer meal so that when we get there because we're gonna get there around dinner time I can just pop that in the oven and we can unload and we can go out on the beach and all that fun stuff and I'm not stressed about it all right we're nice and packed up 
This is always the last thing I pack when we go on a trip. We're also bringing a bunch of our homegrown potatoes. I like to bring as much homegrown food and food from here as it can because the food at the beach is extremely expensive, especially the meats. We have cleaned up. I wanna come home to a fairly clean house. The girls are getting their room cleaned up, getting their beds made. Hey Joy, do you like coming home to a clean house and a made bed from a yeah. long vacation? Yeah. Vacation's so nice. But you know what's even better? When you get home from vacation and you're like, ah, oh, my own bed. <laughs> and you fall into a nice clean made bed, huh? Are you liking your new Birch organic mattress? Yeah. How does it feel? Um, uh, better than the other one. Yeah, that other one was pretty bad, wasn't it? Yeah. You know how old that mattress was? Like. I use it when really I was old. a kid. Yeah. And it was an organic mattress like Birch. We want to thank Birch for sponsoring this video and they are running a big Labor Day sale right now. You get 25% off your purchase. And also, if you miss this sale, you can still use my link below here to get 20% off your purchase. The reason I really wanted organic mattresses for my family and I'm slowly getting one for each person in the family is because most mattresses contain polyurethane foam, which create harmful off-gassing. They use fiberglass in the flame retardants and that can be really harmful to your health as well. Birch doesn't use any of those things in their mattresses. They are organic. They are GOTS certified. They are Green Guard certified and they just create healthier air quality for your family while they're sleeping. I first started getting really into organic mattresses whenever I had premature twins born three months early. And they have comp they had compromised lungs, they're, they're healed now. But I didn't want them breathing in harmful gases and flame retardants with their compromised lungs. So that's whenever I started this journey of buying organic mattresses. If you are worried about the mattress being flame retardant, Birch Mattresses uses 100% organic wool for the flame retardant on their mattresses. Wool is naturally flame resistant, and I even buy um, all of my kids' car seats. I use car seats that use wool as a flame retardant and not toxic chemicals. Did you know that with your Birch Mattress, you get a 100-night sleep trial? I think we're at that sleep trial, Joy. Do you want to keep the bed? Yeah. You don't want to give it back? No. Are you sure I could return it? No. <laughs> Snuggles before we go on a long car ride. Everyone's waiting on us, I bet they're like, where is mommy? This mattress comes with a 25 year warranty and the best part is it delivers straight to your door. We li really love Birch mattresses, as you can tell, and I think you will too. And right now, don't forget, they are running their Labor Day sale, 25% off. You can go to Birch Living. I, of course, link everything below. You can see the text on the screen here that gives you all the information you need. We look funny laying like this. <laughs> you also get two free eco pillows with your order, which is pretty cool. So visit birchliving.com backslash URL to check out all the details of this awesome sale they're having. All right, you ready to go sleep on someone else's not organic bed for the week? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go do this. Oh yeah, you're gonna really love coming home to that. You think everyone's gonna be so happy when we're like, time to go. Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, look, here he is telling us, where are you, mommy? Come on, all right, let's go. Time to go. Justice has the last load. Woo, we have packed it in tight. Are we going now? We're about to. Where are we going, Lulu? Are we going to the beach? Are you getting it all by yourself? You're such a big boy. Let me unbuckle it. No, because it doesn't like the animation. Is awesome. Are you ready to lock the front door? Hi. Yeah, I Can just... Can you give me the key to go lock it real quick? Uh, I'll have to find it in a second. Okay, I did it. I did it, I did it. I'm gonna take a deep breath, congratulate myself, and then hit the road. We're about an hour past when we meant to leave. That's fine, we did pretty good. <sighs> deep breaths. The beach has always been a super healing, fun place for us, and we're gonna have a great time.
this part where we get here because we don't really know what the house is like and then we get to check it out. It's, it's perfect. I know. It's, it's so like, perfect. It's like oh! It smells, it smells bleachy. It smells bleachy. That is bleachy. true. It smells bleachy. Okay, let's see what we got here. Here's the boys' room. Oh, nice. I the top. This is my oh, and the boys get their own bathroom, or they share with Joyful and Grace. This might be mine. This is so much nicer than the pictures. Here's me in the baby's room. Wait, pause. Are we, you guys, the ocean's right there. We're gonna get. The tide came out. Oh my goodness. That's, Holy cow. That's creepy. That's creepy. That is kind of creepy. It's like the ocean's. If a tsunami came, this would be the first thing ever. This is a little bit creepy. We're gonna, go, we're gonna have to play like over there. Oh, do not go down those stairs. I'm scared too. This is kind of creepy. The ocean literally comes up to the steps <laughs> at high tide. All right, come on. Whoa! You see the pelicans? You gotta start bringing everything in and mommy will start putting it all away. All right, we did stop at the grocery store when we left at 10.15 and got here at six-ish. But the grocery store took an hour. So how many hours is that? That's like eight hours. <laughs> Definitely not only six hours like we thought. Are you excited? <laughs> I thought you guys might want to see what I bought. So I showed you everything I brought. I brought a lot of meat and produce and a few snacks that I had at the house. But we stopped at Walmart and got a lot of food. I spent $300 for all this. It's mostly junk food. Some maple syrup, because I forgot ours. Some tonic water. I got this iced coffee, because I want to drink iced coffee here. That's about the only healthy thing you're going to see, because there's extremely limited brands. Cinnamon rolls. Sandwich stuff. Snacks. Lunch stuff coffee, breakfast, snacks, treats, snacks and treats. Got some grapes, bananas, blueberries, pineapple, lime. Oh, this is stuff I brought from home. A couple of loaves of bread, I'm sure I'll have to get more. Bagels, tortillas, big bars, brownies, pancake mix, salsa, jam, pickles, taco seasoning, and then of course, Two gallons of milk, half and half orange juice, biscuits, sour cream, yogurt, beer, sparkling water, sparkling water, and soda. I know. I know, it's a lot of junk. But when I go to the beach, I want a real vacation, so I buy all the processed food, all the snacks, and my kids know the only place they ever get soda is at the beach, which makes them love it even more, coming to the beach. So, yeah, I highly recommend that if you're a busy mom making three meals a day at home, that when you go on vacation, don't do that to yourself. You could, of course, batch cook before you leave. I did not do that, so I bought all the snacks and processed foods. I'm also gonna run to the local grocery store and get the frozen stuff, so we'll probably get like frozen pizza, frozen waffles, ice cream. I just didn't wanna get that at the Walmart because we were too far away. It would've all melted and gotten mushy. All right, everything's looking really good. We got it all put away. The kids are dying to go to the beach. We've got dinner in the oven. One thing I do when we go on vacation is bring our fuzzy blankets. I think the girls grabbed theirs for their room, but I just put them on the couches. That way it says we can be cozy and we don't have to use blankets. We don't know where they've been or what they've been up to. Mama! Mama! Yeah! Mama! Yeah! Mama. Truly. Mama! Yes! Mama. Show me. Oh, you're gonna fall off the bed. You gotta be careful. Oh my goodness gracious. You got it. One, two, three, go! Woo! The kids unpacked their clothes, made their beds, the girls made my bed for me, and now I'm gonna unpack me and the baby's clothes. Go get her a different pair, don't just take them. One of the coolest things about this house is we can watch the sun set every day, and the sun rises over there so we watch the sunrise too 
And I know that looks crazy scary, but we just found this earlier. This like side steps down to this little private beach. There's like one other person. So we have a private beach. It's amazing. Wow, so nice. Is this not the coolest ever? It's like we're at the end of the world. Oh, we have so much privacy. Oh look, there's the moon. How does Lulu know what to do with a boogie board? This is so funny. Wait, wait, can you say help, please? Please? Okay. Do you just take a picture of the sunset? Just because I want to have the movies. Let's go! Let's go! Just so I get down here. Not deep, Wilder. So these are the steps from our house up to the beach. I mean, down to the beach. It is so warm. It's not cold at all. Sound. I'll be down if I'm leaving without 